solving systems with complex equations. Whenever we're solving with complex equations, all this means is they're not linear equations. For example, in this one, we have two parabolas. So we would solve it the same way. In this case, we already have things that equal to y. So I'm just going to set the two equations equal to each other. 5x squared minus 14x minus 50 equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 22. Essentially, this is just substitution. So what we are going to do is get everything on the same side, subtract the 2x squared, and that's going to give me a 3x squared, and then I add the 8x. So that would give me a negative 6x. And finally, I'm going to subtract 22. And that's going to give me a negative 72. And at this point, we just have a quadratic we need to solve for. So I'm going to factor it out and find my zeros. So that would be a 3x and an x. And since this sign is negative, I know the signs are going to be different. So I need to figure out which one is positive, which one is negative. So do a little trial and error. Plus and minus. Things that multiply together get 72. Well, that would be uh, 9 and 8. Or 12 and 6. Or 1 and 72. There's several of them. So because they need to add together to get a negative 6, I'm going to try 12 and 6. So if I put a positive 12 and a negative 6, then 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. 12 times x is 12x, so negative 18 plus 12 is negative 6, so that is correct. And then I just set each one equal to 0. So we have 3x plus 12 equals 0, and x minus 6 equals 0. So that means that x equals a negative 4 and x equals a positive 6. And then at this point, we need to find our y's. We have our x values, now we need to find our y values. So we pick one of our two original equations and plug it in. So I'm going to pick y equals 2 times negative 4 squared minus 8 times negative 4 plus 22 just because it's a little smaller. And then if I type that into the calculator, I get y equals an 86. So that means, therefore, the point negative 4, 86 is an intersection. But that's not our only one because we had another x in our answer. So I'm going to pick x is 6 and y equals 2 times 6 squared minus 8 times 6 plus 22, and so y is going to equal, if you type that into the calculator, 46, so therefore our other intersection point is 646, and that is your final answer. Both those answers are your answer. In this next example, we see that we actually have two circles as our equation, so we have two complex equations and they're not parabolas, so there's going to be possibly even more intersection points. So this time we need to maybe be a little clever. Uh, we can use the same techniques. We can use elimination or we can use substitution. And in this case, I think elimination would be best if we multiply the top times a negative 1. That's going to give me negative 4x squared minus 25y squared equals negative 41 and the 36 x squared plus 25 y squared equals 169 and then at this point we can just add down like we would if they were linear and then we would have 32 x squared and my y's would cancel out leave and then negative 41 plus 169 is going to give me a positive 128. Then I can divide by 32. 
So x squared equals 128 divided by 32 is going to be a 4. And then I take a square root. We've got to remember when we take a square root, it becomes plus or minus. So x is equal to 2 or x is equal to negative 2. Well, for both instances, we have to find our y. So we need to, when x is 2, we need to put it in. So 4 times 2 squared plus 25y squared equals 41. It doesn't matter which equation you use. So that would be four, 2 squared is 4. 4 times 4 is 16 plus 25 times y squared equals 41. So we subtract and we get 25y squared equals 25. Then we divide and y squared equals 1. So at this point, we can take our square root. And when we take a square root, it becomes plus or minus. So y equals 1 or y equals negative 1. All this means is that when x is 2, there could be two possibilities. x 2 positive 1 or 2 negative 1. And the last part, now we have to put in x is negative 2. So 4 times negative 2 squared plus 25y squared equals 41. Um, so that would be negative 2 times negative 2 is positive. 4 times 4 is 16 plus 25y squared equals 41. And so we subtract and we have 25y squared equals 25. And y squared equals 1. So then again we take a square root. So we would again, when x is negative 2, our y could be a positive 1, or our y could be a negative 1. So those are all of our answers. You need to have all four of them to get it correct. Those are your notes over solving systems with complex equations. Go through some practice problems. Make sure you can do these techniques and you understand when you would maybe want to use substitution and when you would want to use elimination. And then you can take the quiz over this material.